right now I am at the Drug Enforcement Commission and just beside me is the Drug Enforcement Commission Public Relations Officer Matthias Kamanga who is giving us more um, updates as regards the charges that they have, have been slapped against you know uh, the two people. I mean, Mr. Matthias, you're live on Diamond TV News on the go. Just tell us, you know, of course, confirming that you have arrested um, the two people, that is Mr. Malangi as well as Mr. Yamba, and the charges that you have, uh, you know, slapped them with. Thank you very much. Uh, so I, need, I wish to confirm that the Drug Enforcement Commission, working with the Anti-Corruption Commission, has arrested uh, Mr. Fritzson Yamba uh, and uh, Mr. Joseph Malangi uh, for allegations that uh, date as far back as the period between the 1st of January 2020 and 31st of uh, August 2021. Now, in the first count, that's where they are jointly charged. Uh, they've been charged with uh, with failure to follow the law in terms of uh, uh, supplementary expenditure. Uh, it is alleged that uh, the two um, did use their positions to influence the direct, directly or indirectly the transfer of funds uh, to the Zambian mission in uh, Turkey. Um, and this is to the tune of 154,000 sorry 154 million mm -hmm. 201,197 kwacha which was transferred uh, to the Zambian mission in Turkey um, in the second count Mr. Uh, Joseph Malangi has been uh, uh, charged and arrested jointly with his company which is uh, Gibson uh, Power Systems uh, Limited um, and other persons are known uh, it is alleged that uh, Working, whilst working together on this uh, particular uh, transaction, they did possess uh, a helicopter, which is helicopter Bell 430, valued at $1.4 million. Uh, in the third, fourth and fifth count, Mr. Joseph Malangi has been uh, charged and arrested alone. Uh, it is alleged that uh, Mr. Malangi, whilst uh, working with the other persons unknown, uh, did possess three properties which is uh, property number uh, 269, sub 291, uh, property 270, sub A292, A, A, uh, and property number A41, uh, property number 33, sub A411, uh, uh, of lot 28473, where he paid various amounts for these properties, for the first property, he paid 16,733 uh, 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 sorry he paid 16,733 uh, mm -hmm. for the second property he paid uh, 14,311 um, uh, dollars and 4 cents and for the third property he paid 18,955 dollars and 33 cents uh, which were paid cash. Now these uh, payments were top-ups for previous payments that had been made on these uh, properties. Now um, Mr. Yamba has uh, been released on police bond uh, whilst we are awaiting uh, for Mr. Um, Malangi to meet the bond conditions that has been uh, that have been given to him uh, by the commission and uh, once those have been met we will uh, be able to give him police bond uh, for these offenses. Okay, would you be able to clarify on uh, um, why uh, Mr. Malangi is still in police custody? Because according to the information that we have received, is that the Drug Enforcement Commission are demanding for certain you know, documents uh, to have him released uh, on a bond. And uh, this is according to what people you know, are saying, is that this indicates that you've not concluded the investigations. Would you clarify on that? The documents that we ask for when we are asking for someone to be released released on bond or when the, the conditions we give is normally two working sureties who should bring an introductory letter from their work uh, workplace mm -hmm. um, with a, an attachment of, uh, of an NRC, a copy of an NRC. And so when those have not been provided, uh, then the, the, the conditions have not been met. So it's a simple introductory letter coming from the employer confirming that this person indeed works for this organization and um, their address is stated there and that is the simple thing that we, we ask for. Uh, therefore it is not 
uh, true to say that we have not concluded the investigations. Investigations have been concluded and that is why uh, the arrest has been made. Um, it is because the investigations have uh, concluded and this is just a condition for them to, uh, to meet this, uh, uh, this, this, this bond uh, that has been given to him. We have no problems whatsoever in uh, granting him police bond. Uh, as a commission, we believe that uh, he is a Zambian, he is entitled to police bond and uh, at any given time we would actually uh, give these conditions and he, once they are met uh, he will be given a police bond. Okay, are you in a position also to tell us when they do are likely to appear before the court of law? I'm not in a position to state the actual date um, but I must uh, 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 thank uh, the National Prosecutions Authority uh, that have been uh, uh, consulted from time to time. We believe that uh, uh, as soon as possible the duo must be able to appear in court uh, to answer to the charges that have been laid against them. Thank you so much Mr. Matthias Kamanga for having an interview and also giving us this update. Thank you very much. Um,